Good morning, everybody. This is Dawn with Scrapbook Sage. It's happy mail time. My dear friend Bonnie sent me some beautiful items and I wanted to share some of them with you. I went ahead and put away the napkins because they just needed to um, find a safe home. But I, um, she gave me some lovely napkins as well. But I wanted to share with you some of the um, fun fabrics and little bits that she sent um, to me this month. It was what a treat to receive all these fun things from her. Um, I'm in love with so many of these fabrics and so many other things. So thank you, Bonnie, so much. Um, she sent me some cards, some open house cards. So those are fun. And also some playing cards for... Um, out of games and stuff like that. So let me see what we have here. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Um, so apples to apples. So those will be fun in like autumn journals. That's sort of cool. And I don't know if you guys know me, I think everything through like seasons. <laughs> and then these cute little ones. Let me see if I can get them out of here. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I can tell I still sort of have a morning voice, don't I? Oh, these will be fun, like little Christmas card ones. That's cool. And these are, um, what trait do you get teased by about with your family? Table topics. Those are great, too. So these are good just as a base and or as a um, pocket filler. Let's see what else I have here. I'll put this here. She gave me some lovely different um, trims and laces. I don't know if I'll be able, oh yeah. So this is so sweet. Oh, I love this. I think those are little, what's on there? I don't know if it's like a little dragonfly or flower, but it's really precious. The, oh, I've got some cute little babies. So that will go good on baby journals. This will go good on baby journals. So I've got a stack of baby journals I want to do. She's given me a lot more napkins than this. I have another one down here. Um, but I ha I just wanted to make sure I got them in a safe place pretty quick. So I'd, I had started putting things away a little bit. Got some great lace here. I love um, to use lace like this in um, my projects. And a lovely um, piece of coffee dyed lace here. That will be fun to use as well. Trims. Trims are the best, aren't they? They just sort of brighten up any project. And I don't have, I didn't have any of these really cool fibers, um, the latter fibers. Like I do, I do have some eyelash fibers, but I love little trims like this. A lot of times I will crochet them and make um, little chains to put into things. So those are all lovely. I don't think I'm gonna take them all out, but I'm, I will use these up this year. These are going to stay out on my desk to play with all year long. So cool. They feel so fun. But I'm already making a mess of them. Got some more cards and stuff over here. Another fun, some more napkins. Her napkins she gave me all seasons. I love them all. I just, I hadn't thought of keeping them out before. I hadn't decided whether I was going to film or not. Here are some more trims. So pinks and whites and reds and golds. I will use all those up. Some great bookmarks. Some more cards. Oh, these are cute ones too. Ah, really vintage. 
Gotta love all the vintage cards, right? These are fabulous. The owls are perfect. These are all hoardable though. You know, you, these are ones you just want to hoard. <laughs> I do hoard my cards, I don't know why. I just think they're cool. That's awesome. I know which journal I'm gonna use that pink one on. I'm working on some Mary Kay journals and um, that will be fun to set in there. Very cool, thank you, Bonnie. And then what do I have here? I love um, all the little fillers, right, that you fill the pockets with, so these are great. So some more beautiful cards, I will, and some fun stickers. These are fun. There, it's a little girl here. Yeah, so it's a lady in a doorway there, a little girl on a path there, really sweet. And then the pink orchids and um, the blue gardenias. Ooh, that's fun. It's like an oil rig. I like sort of the industrial stuff I, I trip out over. Weird things, I know. The functionalist in me. And then here's some funny stickers. <laughs> that's great. And then... Philip Mazen, Patriot to be remembered. So she gave me a lot of stamps. So groups of stamps. So those are fun. I will use all these up. I love using stamps in my crafts. And then here's some stamps, clear stamps that are faith-based. And she, I love doing faith-based items. And these are the cute little feelers. How fun are these? Little kitty cat toads. Your dynamite. Your one of a kind. Oh, so these will go really great in the baby journals. I'm going to be doing a cars journal, um, a license, that's cool, roadside bingo, that's cool, animal bingo, I can get into all of that. Those will be used up too. I'm working on animal journals as we speak. Got some more fun lace here to use. And then she also gave me, I'm just going to grab, not quite sure which way to go. This great little um, pop folk music book, uh, stencil. It's always great to have music pages, more music pages, more filler pages. I love graph filler pages. I love graph paper and I'd run out. And some lovely ledgers, oh my goodness. Thank you, Bonnie. All the cool papers. And then some of the best things for last. She um, gave me lots of fabric to play with as well. So isn't this pretty? I love this the vintage look of this and the pinks and yellows and greens. Those are, those are fun. That will make, I can see a couple journals already out of that. Here are Farm and Americana Journal. So great. Q 
cute little Christmas journals or ribbon out of this. I will be making some lemon journals. How fun. More um, Patriot or Americana. I love, this is probably one. These two I think are my favorite fabrics out of the lot. Although they're all just stunning. The bird ones are really cool. Those, people will like these as um, on covers. Here's tropical ones. I'll be doing some tropical journals. Those are always fun. Well, I don't know, it's more nature, country nature. Oh yeah, that's stunning. I even know a person I wanna make a journal out of that for maybe a couple people and I love the fall colors as well this is this is a favorite one as well these birds are so sweet I can make a lot of journals out of this or a lot of cute little journal cards which that's probably how that will be used up and then she gave me these beads and I am excited about them because they're paper beads and they're thick enough I tend to use thicker twine for um, when I tie my journals together so I don't get to tie a lot of things in the bottom because the twine's a little bit thicker than uh, most of my beads. And she gave me some sponges and then she made me this beautiful journal. It was covered, it was the July challenge and so it was covered with this. And um, I'm trying to even remember what the July journal was. I think it was napkins um, and index cards. That was the one that we're doing. So this is a great little ephemera pack portfolio. So I'll be able to grab some really cute spring things out of here and um, make into use them in a lot of my spring journals. I really love these beads. I'm gonna be doing some Indian inspired journals and these will be perfect for that. Okay, this is a fun um, fabric too. I guess I have a lot of favorites. So I really love um, the chickens. I love all the like these vintage pattern, like handkerchief pattern-esque. These will be cute for purple fashionista journals or tags. And I have to admit this is a, these are favorites as well. Those are so fun. This is all about the junk journal collage concept, right? We love all these ideas put together like that. Some beautiful vintage ladies. And um, some another um, great sewing one has the... Um, sewing forms on there so that will make a fun journal and then these are great panels as well so these will make great journal covers cutting up the panels and it's all faith so i love that oh that will be really fun to make journals out of these they're bigger journals so I'll have to think about how I want to do that, but I think they will be really cute. So Bonnie, thank you so much. I'm going to use all this up. It might take me a couple of years, but you know me, I'll get it all used up. And um, it's just so great to have good friends that um, we get to hang out with and how we support and love each other. Um, Happy mail is always the best. So you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this happy mail share and you, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.